What's up guys, I'm Suman from Fonsteen and in this video I'm going to be telling you the best setup for tech YouTubers who are in the beginning stage and don't have money to spend a lot. So, in fact, I am a tech YouTuber who do not have so much money and but still I have a setup for myself and in this video I'm going to be telling you which is the best setup for you and uh, here you need not spend a whole lot of money buying all those expensive computers and all those stuff and you can upgrade once you start earning so let's see so let me show you my setup and uh, this is say one of the most simple setups that I could do and with what I had so let's see here let us start from the left here I have a uh, 20 inch Samsung Sync Master S20 B300 LED monitor. This is not a full HD monitor, but still, it the resolution is 1600 into 900. But even full HD videos and say pictures are great on this. And this costed me uh, around only 6000 bucks here in India, so this was one of the best. And here I have an Apple logo stuck on the monitor and here I have a JBL uh, pair of JBL speakers so these are really good speakers and I've been using them for say the past six years and they are really great and still they work really well and for the keyboard I have a Logitech uh, K120 keyboard and this is a very good keyboard with good tactile feed and buttons are very good and this is a waterproof keyboard and I got this only for 500 bucks in India and moving on here I have the Dell wireless optical mouse WM1120 and this is a really a good mouse and uh, further on I have the Hangout Grand HO Knock Knock 9 headphones and these are really good headphones with good amount of bass and uh, this costed really low to me where I got for only 2000 rupees in India and here I have my wired modem and wireless modem from Netgear and below taking a look I have my wireless I mean my printer my UPS here is my CPU and this is a really old CPU guys since uh, this uh, rocks uh, only a uh, core 2 duo processor so that's a dual core processor which is clocked at 2.6 gigs with 3 GB RAM and only a 200 GB hard disk no SSDs and graphic card is the only thing that I'm going to be installing in about two days and uh, this is not the best case like uh, the fractal design case or anything like that and this is one of the most okay setups that you can get and this is capable of hand handling programs like say uh, the ABS video editor, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2, CS3 and up to CS4 is fine with this and here I can use even Adobe Premiere Pro CS2 or CS3 but not higher than that and that is enough for me but the day I start earning I may change this so and talking about the webcam I have a Logitech C310 HD 720p webcam but one thing I don't like about this is that it has no autofocus and that can be seen in my previous uh, video which where I live streamed the LG G3 event and this is a HP DeskJet uh, 2000 and uh, this is a color printer there's no scanner or all those stuff because for me uh, a normal printer is far more than enough and taking a look at this here I have my pens my USBs my headphone for the Nexus 5 with which I'm recording an eraser and a few cloths to clean the monitor and here I have the pins for my 
stapler and here talking I have a USB uh, extension cord so there is no need for me to plug in from the back so I can plug in it straight away and guys talking about the camera here I am using my Nexus 5 as my primary camera since I don't have any other great camera like the Canon or Sony's camera so be happy with what you have and make sure at least your camera can focus on subjects so uh, while reviewing objects or unboxing things you can focus on the particular part that you want to describe so make sure you at least have that but guys one thing I just want to say you that uh, for editing videos if you are good at editing other than Windows Movie Maker you at least need to have a dual core processor say uh, Pentium dual core is fine, Core 2 Duo is fine or even the i3 Intel Core i3 is fine uh, because editing is say somewhat good only in uh, dual core processors and above and say you at least have 2 GB of RAM minimum so you could do a good amount of say editing and photoshopping and that is the requirements for all these video editing softwares and uh, photo softwares so please take a note so guys from this setup what I want to say is that uh, for uh, being a tech youtuber in the beginning stage you need not have all the latest uh, say gadgets uh, of course and uh, as you can see from my setup I have a six year old PC except for the monitor which is say new and I have say everything is nearly old or six year old UPS or six year old speaker which works fine till now and there's not much new except for the keyboard mouse and the monitor and the headphones in for in fact but so don't be uh, upset that you don't have any high-end setup like professional tech youtubers you don't have a separate room and all those stuff and be happy with what you have and I'm sure you can become great and don't be disappointed with all those dislikes and bad comments just keep on going